best practices video. I just want to let you know how I do things. Uh, I hope it you know, hope you find it helpful. Whenever I make something with a lot of uh, different iterations, I will always you know I have a pre-made bunch of uh, labels made. So these are two STLs that I brought that that I re-imported. So I labeled them, and they still have their freaky fresh from the uh, conversion color and for example this uh, train truck has been parted that means i came over here and created it as a part and now it's solid i just want to know that because sometimes there's issues when you combine a, a parted thing with an stl sometimes it just doesn't work well i just want to be aware of that so i put that part label and then the originals you never know when you're going to have to come in and break down and, and redo an original and strip back down to the templates like I had to do two times with this design. And so that's just labeled there. So bottom line is when I have to open this up and start making the big thing, like when I start hooking up all the trains after I put the graffiti on them, if I ever need to come back to this and, and have an improvement, I'll know exactly what's what when I get in here and then just work more efficiently and quickly. That's it. Peace out till the next time.